In 2013, Rabobank produced a book entitled The Future of Farming, The Rise of the Rural Entrepreneur. Now a new report is being produced, looking in depth at one of the areas covered in the original book. We caught up with the CEO of Rabobank, Ben Russell, as well as one of the report's authors, Blake Holgate, at Vaughan and Megan Templeton's farm in Southland. It really comes from a conference Rabobank instigated back in 2012 when we brought together 50 leading farmers from around the world to really talk about the challenges of agriculture over the next 50 years. That identified six key themes that were real challenges to farmers feeding the world over the next 50 or so years and sustainability was right at the top of the list. Daring has expanded quite rapidly in the last 20 years and it was recently identified by the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment as one of the leading contributors to uh, problems and concerns about water quality in our freshwater streams and river systems. In New Zealand, we're at the very early stages of regulating the way that agriculture interacts with the environment via the Resource Management Act, and that's being implemented by the regional councils. In other countries, and particularly if we look at the Netherlands, uh, there's been quite strict environmental regulation in place there for over 30 years, and farmers are quite used to dealing in a highly regulated environment. There's a wide range of environmental issues that all farmers uh, are dealing with, but nitrogen is perhaps one of the most complex. We've got 16 regional councils in New Zealand uh, and they are all um, uh, applying or moving along at, at somewhat different paces uh, or different speed uh, in terms of um, setting uh, clear targets and standards for freshwater quality and then how they work towards getting to those to meeting those freshwater standards. Organisations like Dairy New Zealand and Federated Farmers I think are very well aware of the issue and they're putting quite a lot of resource into it but it's still a very complex challenge. The regulatory side and, and the standards that are being sought are still being evolved so it's in a lot of ways it's a bit hard for farmers to know exactly what they're aiming for. This is an issue that has taken generations to, to build up and it's not going to be solved overnight. Uh, you know, the, the best possible outcome for New Zealand is farming systems that allow uh, farmers to continually uh, increase the productivity and the production off their farms while at the same time meeting community standards for fresh water quality. And that, if you like, is the holy grail. That, that's what uh, I think everyone would love to see. Uh, and those, those solutions are not, I, I believe, are not um, uh, fully available today. That's gonna take a big investment in research and technology around farming systems, around soils, uh, around nutrients, uh, around fertilizers, uh, in order to, to really uh, maximize uh, the efficiency with which nutrients are used and captured within the system. And uh, I think in the long term, there needs to be, in my view, a, an, an enormous increase in the amount of research that's applied to that fundamental challenge. This report contains a comparison of the regulatory regimes of New Zealand, Netherlands and California. The Netherlands have been doing this stuff for over 30 years, so are quite well advanced in their regulatory regime. It's a journey New Zealand's just starting to largely embark on, and California are somewhere in the middle had had a reasonably prescriptive regime for probably over 10 years now. Regions will be given till 2030 to have these changes fully implemented within their regional plan. So each council's at a, a varying stage of implementation and they've also taken varying approaches to implementing it. Uh, some, some regions are looking at catchment and area specific plans and working by priority catchment to priority catchment where other councils are looking at uh, one plan for the whole, whole region. For those farmers with the nitrogen issue that have to reduce their levels by quite a significant amount, we've found there's two trends. There's some farmers that are reverting to the low input, low cost, low stocking rate model. And at the other end, farmers who have decided to go more intensive using housed farming systems where they can capture all of the effluent and then apply it to the land at a time and in a manner that won't overburden the system. I believe it's really important that we're investing in knowledge, science and technology that will help bridge this gap between uh, productivity and being environmentally sustainable at the same time. And it's really important that we're drafting 
regional rules that allow that innovation to occur and happen and encourage it. Um, so investment in that space is going to be crucial to solving this problem. There's a huge payoff for New Zealand to get this right. If we get it right, uh, we'll continue to see one of our biggest industries, the dairy industry, grow in a sustainable way and still meet the community expectations in terms of water quality. If we get it wrong, one of our biggest and most important industries may uh, stop growing or may even shrink uh, over time. Or, on the other side, we don't get it right in terms of water quality, uh, which will impact New Zealand's reputation and, of course, is unacceptable to all New Zealanders. So it's really worth the investment and a long-term investment in science and knowledge, particularly around farming systems, about how to achieve continued productivity growth without damaging the environment. And the solutions to that, I don't believe we have on hand today. The industry, I believe, is really addressing the issue in a proactive way, but it's going to take a massive investment in research. And it's concerning to me to see organisations like Ag Research and some of the universities really struggling in terms of their budget. Uh, this is a big challenge and it's going to take science uh, and, and great research to find the solution. And to me that's a really worthwhile long-term investment for all of New Zealand as well as for the industry. <coughs>